Welcome back. When warmer weather crops up, most of us begin to spring clean our homes. But did you know we can do the same thing to our lives? Licensed professional counselor Susan Gilpatrick is here to tell us the four easy steps. Good to see you. Good to see you, Holly. All right. You say basically this is pretty simple. The first thing, right. spring clean the soil. We're going to prepare the yes, soil. Prepare now, the soil. what do we do by doing that? Right. As any gardener knows, you don't just go in and start planting where you've got rocks and weeds and bugs. You need to prepare the soil. So what are the weeds in your life? Anything from a bad attitude to addictions are going to keep you from growing. All right. Take that fresh start. The second thing you say is design the landscape. All right. Be the architect of your life. What do you want your life to reflect? What do you want to attract to your life? So be the architect and design the structure of your lifestyle. You take control you take because control. you can have control. Okay. Uh, decide your goals, you say, is one of them. And uh, as you mentioned, be the architect of your life. Right. The next thing you say is plant desired seeds. Right. This is when you take action. You start laying stepping stones. So what you do today is what is going to really bloom either tomorrow or sometime in the future. I think it requires some patience, too, just like a garden. Because there's no miracle grow for a healthy lifestyle. Okay. The next thing you say, spring clean your life by pruning to accelerate growth. Sometimes that's going to hurt, too. It can hurt, but you need to prune back those negative weeds we talked about in order for all the good that you've done to grow. Okay, so, so trim back negative areas of life. Right. And then you say, remember the necessity of daily sun and water. So what would be symbolic of that? That would be, think for you, what do you need every day that's going to help you be your best? Daily water and sun might be exercise for some people. I don't mm -hmm. know who that is. <laughs> It could be um, prayer. It could be quality time with family. It could be actually spending time in a garden. Right. Trimming back the negative areas of your life. So give us some specifics of some things because, as we mentioned, that's not mm -hmm. always the easiest thing to do. Um, our own attitude, our own thoughts, our own behaviors mm -hmm. and actions that are getting in the way of what we really want. It could be people we're hanging around that are bringing us down. It could be activities we're involved in. We could be living outdated goals. And mm, so it's having a good. fresh mm -hmm. start to think about what do I want now for my future and taking those steps towards that and planting we, the seeds. We have to always talk about the friends and how much influence they do yeah. have on us um, because oftentimes you'll find yourself with different mannerisms, even yes. sometimes their accents. So you have yes. to think about also what's going on underneath subconsciously because you'll pick up on that negative attitude. Absolutely. So watch who you're hanging around. Yes. Great information. And Thank for you. more info and a link to Centerstone's website, just log on to WSMB.com. Click on the More at Midday section. You can also give them a call. We have the phone number. It's 460-4445. Again, 460-4445. Wonderful. All right. The gardening tips of life. Thank you. Clean, clean your life. Love it. We appreciate you. it. Thank you so Thanks much, Holly. Susan. Yeah. Okay.